Captain William never had a garage sale before. <laughs> They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Dear Mr. Price, Mrs. Price, due to the recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe's standard at a rate of twelve fifty per week. Damn. Sounds like the insurance companies are fucking them over. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Uh. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. <laughs> that is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. <laughs> Something in here? Letter? Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being. But I want you to understand the reality of respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had. I'm proud to be working with her. I just want uh, you as parents to prepare for all possibilities. I believe Chloe should also make aware of her changing conditions. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Ashtray. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. It's good. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, mm. I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Hmm. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Yeah, I already know about that. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um... I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, hmm. what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Hmm. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. 
You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Joyce is already a super mom. Hmm. Nice switch. Nothing here. Hmm. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. How's it going, time tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Hmm. Where? Boys, I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Your choice. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm truly sorry I cannot help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you're just swimming in debt. I never heard much about William's brother. Hey Bill, sorry for not staying in touch after uh, touch since the accident. Work has been piling up, and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is. Today, so I wish I could send you a bigger check, but you know the the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then mm. I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Hmm. Where is that thing at? It's gotta be in the bathroom somewhere. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses neck. Hmm. 
I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Uh. William and I can't believe how much you've grown. Uh, I don't know where it's at, though. It says to keep it upstairs, but... Is it up here? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. Hey, let's try to give her. Let's say your daughter needs help. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. I remember. Oh. Guess, uh... I wish I would. Oh, Max. Who needs helps help. Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory. Bad or good, I am. Hmm. I better get back. You too. Well, it wasn't that. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. I just don't know where to find it's it. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Not here. Up there. Where would it be? Here's where she said upstairs. Nothing there, nothing there. The bathroom looks almost the same. Oh, it's this one, maybe. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Hmm. This insurance is worthless. So they turned the garage to um, her place. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. 
You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Oh. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. <laughs> 